Ronald Reagan, A Little Golden Book Biography by Lisa Rogers, illustrated by Catherine Pape. Ronald Wilson Reagan was the 40th President of the United States of America. Ronald was born on February 6, 1911, in the small town of Tampico, Illinois. His father worked hard as a shoe salesman. His mother helped others through her church. Ronald and his family moved around a lot. They finally settled in Dixon, Illinois when he was nine years old. Ronald and his older brother, Neil, fished, swam, and played football. Their family didn't have a lot of money, but Ronald believed his future would be bright. Ronald's mother taught him to read before he began school. He had a good memory and could easily remember things he read in books. He was a bright student and even skipped the second grade. In high school, Ronald was captain of the football team. He also played basketball, ran track, and acted in school plays. Ronald's friendliness and sense of humor made him popular with other students. They elected him class president. After high school, Ronald went to Eureka College in Illinois. He still played football and acted in plays. Ronald won an acting award in a national competition. He knew then that he wanted to be an actor. To help pay for college, Ronald worked during the summers as a lifeguard. He saved 77 swimmers on the swift-moving Rock River. The Riverfront Park is also where Ronald saddled up a horse for the first time. That big gray horse sparked a lifelong love of riding. After college, Ronald got a job as a sports announcer for an Iowa radio station. He described the game so well that listeners felt like they were sitting on the bleachers. The radio station sent him to California to report on the Chicago Cubs spring training camp. While there, Ronald went to the Warner Brothers film studio and had an audition called a screen test. He did great. Ronald's dream of becoming an actor was coming true. Right away, he got his first movie role, playing a radio announcer. Throughout Ronald's acting career, he appeared in more than 50 films. He played a professor, a news reporter, a cowboy, even a submarine commander. His favorite roles were ones in which he rode horses. In one film, Ronald played a football star named George Gipp. George couldn't compete because of an illness and asked his teammates to win just one for the Gipper. The Gipper became Ronald's nickname. Ronald met his first wife, Jane Wyman, while filming a movie together. The couple married in 1940 and raised two children, Maureen and Michael. They ended their marriage in 1949. A few years later, Ronald married Nancy Davis. She was also an actor. They had a daughter, Patty, and a son, Ronald Prescott. Nancy was the love of Ronald's life and his best friend. Ronald joined the Screen Actors Guild, a union which sought good working conditions for actors. Soon he was elected its president. Ronald led the union on a strike. He and the other actors refused to work until the movie studios agreed to make changes. Ronald was proud of his leadership. Some of those changes still benefit actors today. In 1954, Ronald got a job as host of the General Electric Theater television show. The company General Electric also asked him to give speeches to its workers. Ronald listened to the workers' ideas about how to improve their lives. They thought they should be able to keep more of the money they earned rather than pay high taxes. They wanted more of a say in government, too. Ronald agreed. As Ronald gave speeches throughout the country, he became more interested in politics than acting. He decided to run for governor of California. Ronald won the election and served as governor from 1967 to 1975. That's also when he started eating lots and lots of jelly beans. His favorite flavor? Licorice. In 1979, Ronald entered the race for president. He thought the country needed his leadership. He ran against the current president, Jimmy Carter. Ronald pledged to help people get jobs and make the United States safer and more respected around the world. He asked voters to help win one for the Gipper. People liked his ideas for a stronger, better America. They also liked the folksy, direct way he talked to them. He gained another nickname, the Great Communicator. Ronald won the election and was sworn in as President of the United States on January 20, 1981, with Nancy by his side. 
President Ronald Reagan created jobs and invested in space technology, including plans to build the International Space Station. He appointed the first woman, Sandra Day O'Connor, to the United States Supreme Court. He also enjoyed celebrating Americans' accomplishments. He gave a speech at the opening of the 1984 Olympics in Los Angeles, asking athletes to do their best for themselves and their country. Ronald met with many world leaders while president. One was Mikhail Gorbachev of the former Soviet Union. At the end of World War II, the Soviet Union wanted to spread its political power to Germany. The United States instead wanted to help Germany rebuild its nation. That disagreement started what was called the Cold War. Ronald and Gorbachev worked out their differences and helped to end the Cold War peacefully. In 1984, Ronald was re-elected for a second term. On January 20, 1989, Ronald's presidency came to an end. Ronald went home to his California ranch where he and Nancy rode horses. During retirement, he gave speeches and wrote a book about his life. He received awards, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom, which was given to him by President George H.W. Bush. In 1994, Ronald wrote a letter to the American people telling them that he had Alzheimer's, a disease that affects the brain and makes it hard to remember things. He hoped that by sharing this, he might help others affected by the disease. Ronald Reagan died on June 5, 2004. His belief in hard work and his ability to connect with people helped him rise from his humble beginnings to become President of the United States. Ronald was proud of his accomplishments and honored to have been president of our great country. He always believed America's future was bright. Live each day with enthusiasm, optimism, hope, and honor. The End